ladies and gentlemen, this is Euro Star Destroyer Gaming. Uh, we are back, and uh, we are going to take the end of the turn here and see what the enemy can throw at us. We are playing the Tour de Campaign against the Treacherous Romanians. Okay, so this isolated unit here, which we cut off last turn, I hope they would keep going up, but they did decide to attack us. So let's go ahead. I mean, we've got plenty of units to get involved here, and we can bring in aircraft as well. I imagine they'll be bringing air as well. So um, are we bringing assault bombers or are we bringing the recon group? I'm bringing the assault bombers because we need their ability to take out armor because we are fighting proper medium armor, the very deadly T-3485. So let's go ahead and get this thing underway. Not sure the enemy will also bring aircraft. Why is this locked? Oh, yeah, because you can combine squadrons. I don't know. I totally forgot about that. I'm not even going to lie. Um, okay, very good. I've never used that even once. Should I do that? Like, have you guys ever, in your playthroughs, ever used that ability to combine, like, companies and mix them together? Because um, I can conclusively say that I, I really don't know about using that. Okay, recon group, very cool. The 80th Motorcycle Battalion, 20th Guards Tank Brigade, and the Guards Motor Rifle Brigade. Well, our first turn, we start with the advantage. Uh, I have to admit, stopping a tank charge is gonna be tough when you've got 40 millimeter anti-tank guns. That is pretty, pretty sad. Um, I mean, close range, brutal. But remember, the AP shells these heat shells have a range of 750 meters only. These have a range of 1,000 meters, but have 75 mils of penetration. It is so sad. We have one proper anti-tank gun. No, four. Excuse me. Four anti-tank guns. Uh, that is not good. I might just rush them with Sasabas or something. Uh, I don't even know what to do. Wow, work in progress. That's a little sad. All right. Well, it looks like aircraft are going to be our main means of destroying enemy armor. Going to be honest. I just don't see any way we're doing it otherwise. I mean, we can do it at close range. Unfortunately, these guys are not the ones with the bazookas, it looks like. These guys, are it's a replacement regiment, so it shouldn't be stunned. What about you guys? Proper infantry regiment? Okay, you guys have Panzerfaust, which is a little bit better than the other thing, but... Still not too good. I don't think that anti-tank rifle can do anything. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any really good anti-armor capability being brought to the table here by the infantry. So, we're just going to have to try our best to lure them into these woods. Fortunately, it's a closed, more closed map, so... I mean, we're just going to lure them into the woods and try to just jump them at close range like that's all I can think to do because the situation is not looking too good I will say these Gloy Ross squads I love them ever since they were first introduced with the three machine guns and the rifles perfect perfect long range kind of defensive tool to use okay our Lovezes let's get those into the woods we're putting them into the woods so that those Panzerfaust can Surprise T-34s at close range. Okay, we'll see how that actually works out in practice. I don't really know. I'm just going to try to hide these guys just all over the place. Kind of waiting behind corners so that when these tanks come down, they get hit. Uh, I don't know if they're going to lead with the tanks specifically or not. Uh, yeah, I just don't know. These open areas... Where tanks can just run down, I want to kind of avoid at all costs, frankly. Mm, what to do? I was so busy encircling, I did not think about how to actually take them on. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, at least in the open areas, right? Regardless of the situation, you want to have recon out. That church is actually not the best spot. We'll put a guy right there. Uh, see, maybe, like, this is the kind of situation where, like, putting a couple anti-tank guns right here. If the T-34s are moving this way, a side shot could actually do something. So we're going to try that. And we're going to throw some beefy recon into here. And then 
we need to hold this with regular infantry so the tanks don't get surprised from the back. These Tartalek Lorezes should do just fine. These guys have a... Honestly, the Panzerfaust is a marginal improvement over these. I, I'd love to tell you something else, but that's just the way it is. Like, I'm sorry if you love the Panzerfaust or think it's valuable. I just don't think it's very useful. It's marginally better. It's just not very good. Okay. I guess we'll sprinkle some recon about the place. Maybe like right here. That looks good. I don't really know how I'm going to be holding the town. Don't really know yet. I'm hoping that the tanks just get ahead of the infantry. Because if the infantry and tanks come in together, we are totally screwed. So I'm just kind of deploying these guys kind of all over the place. Trying to put them in the second line of buildings, you know, kind of to the rear a little bit. And, you know, I'll throw some Shvarloses out just to try to kill that. Oh my gosh, that building has no line of sight. Just to try, at least try and engage the infantry at more of a range. Uh, I don't really know how that. If I think that we might have to pull these Farloses back though, right, very quickly as the tanks show up. So we'll see. Alrighty. Town is garrisoned. Hmm. Guess we'll. Uh, Go ahead and use our leaders as well. No need to ignore them. Okie dokie. I mean, we've got these anti-tank rifle teams. I'm just very much not sold on them. So I guess we'll just start distributing these anti-tank rifle teams around the place and maybe getting some rear shots. They'll have a minor chance at taking out a tank. I don't. I don't really know. So we'll just sprinkle those guys around. Sprinkle guys here. Let's uh, get another cluster of these guys. We'll put them right there. Holding the woods. Uh, very much their natural habitat. This kind of light forest area. And I think, I feel confident holding this tree line. I don't know about this flag though. I don't think we can take the city. But the tree line, they definitely can't get up into it. We will definitely stop them if they uh, try to do that. So we'll put those guys there and there, and I do feel the need for those, like, slightly better Panzerfausts. Yeah, let's just start throwing those guys. Good. Oh my gosh, those Gloyrosks are brutal. Tons of anti-infantry power. When equipped, oh my god, three MG42s. That is... I don't think people understand the insane amount of anti-tank firepower that that is really bringing to the table there. That is insane. Oh, this guy's got a Panzerfaust, right? Okay, that's good. That's actually useful. Okay. And uh, I guess we'll... I don't even know what I'll do with this guy. Let's go ahead and put a one of these guys in the town here, just so that the tank gets really close so we can hit it at close range. Uh, I think that should be a good place for some recon there. Light little recon squad to keep an eye on that valley. Not that we can necessarily influence events going on there, but at least we'll have the recon to see what's going on. And, uh, you know, I'm thinking, why don't we drop another couple of those 40 mils into this patch of trees here? And if the tanks come from the side across this road, we could possibly surprise them with some side shots. Alright, I don't know how this defense is going to do. We'll see. We will see. Got our uh, commander here. Let's go ahead and drop this guy uh, onto the field. Get our commander on this side up and running. And I suppose we'll get a commander going here too. Drop another couple of these to knock out tanks if they come over the ridge. Maybe at close at close range, right? If a tank comes over the top here, I know the 40 mil can knock out a tank if it crests this hill. But honestly, if tanks are here, we've lost the game, so 
I don't know. It's going to be hard to hold on to the flags we need. In fact, I think we need to select somewhere that we're going to really hold, and I want to try to do it up here, now that I think about it. So let's actually try to put extra forces into this zone. Let's get four and four. That should be plenty. Eight squads. And let's try to just dump them all up on top of here, and we can use them to keep control of this flag. And uh, we'll put some Solothurn teams in here. We'll bring a commander up with this larger unit here. Mm. And I suppose these kind of beefy recon troops as well. We'll just drop them right there. Mm. Okay, so hopefully by getting that flag, that'll kind of make their tide break around us. Uh, those assault bombers are definitely going to be sorely needed. I think mostly we're going to employ them in the town. But I will say, of course, watching over the town, we will have our 75 mil anti-tank guns up on the ridge here. I may restrict their use to APCR shells only, but that's a pretty risky thing to do, so possibly not. And I'm really tempted, I just want to leave one anti-tank gun in reserve for unexpected contingencies. I'm really expecting just a huge kind of, you know, infantry push into these areas, so I'm really trying to buff this up with as much infantry as possible. Sfarloses, ton of Sfarloses. Very not useful, unfortunately. I guess we'll drop one of those here as well. Get a commander too, why not? We definitely, probably should have one, to, especially to increase the fire rate of those guns. I don't know if you can since they're upvetted, but we'll try either way. Uh, we got two more Gloyerosk squads that are so good at repelling infantry, so I guess we'll drop some of them up here. Mm, another commander. Let's go ahead and bring this guy up here. Yeah, I just don't think taking this town is going to be possible. Mate, you know, we could probably hold this as a foothold. I do think that's possible. Let's go ahead and get our troops over to do that. And these guys, as you can see, are die hard. They will not surrender. Let's at least try to keep control of this flag here. And maybe I'll put an, an anti-tank gun all the way up on this side. That's where I'll put the last AT gun. I know I was going to keep it in reserve, but I'm going to put it out. All the way out here. recon up here onto the edges of the map okay just time to get everybody as close up to the front as we reasonably can and then I think we're ready to start the battle and see how it goes maybe if things go a certain way we'll end up swarming the enemy with those uh, tanks that we have, those recon tanks. Could be something fun to try. Alright, and we'll leave those last points for, I suppose, an aircraft, but yeah, we'll just play. Our massive infantry wave goes out. You know, if we put 40 mils there, they should be able to engage at that close of a range, so I guess we'll try that. And I do want to put one more recon out. We'll put him here so we can watch that road. Okay, there we go. What a convoluted map here. The pathfinding is quite odd. Oh, here we go. Enemy aircraft. Nope, not a strike aircraft, but just chilling. We are going to shoot it down. There we go, I like this. A little bit more firepower on uh, on hand. I don't like that they can see my anti-tank gun position, so that's kind of an L. Okay. 
Okay. Right, and I almost forgot that we are fighting. This is an all kami force that we are engaged with. Alright, I don't know if they have their own fighters. I'd really rather not lose any of my own, like, fighter bombers. If possible. I mean, duh, but really would want to avoid that. Okay, the enemy is actually not deploying out super cold. They're not going super hard on their deployment here. Trucks coming in, I see. Let's evac those. Oh, no way. Yep, they are going to strike us. And I already see the first tanks coming in here. That is depressing and scary. Okay. What are you going to go hit? An anti-tank gun? You are a horrible person. You are a terrible, terrible person. Oh my god, for doing such a terrible thing. That was awful. Uh, okay, and we're losing trucks, right? Quick! Okay. Don't even stay out there, just retreat, disengage. How are we doing here? Okay, looks like, oh, the enemy has Maxim trucks, I see, that are uh, engaging here. I don't know what that tank is uh, firing at. Looks like we have complete control over this whole sector here, which is pretty nice. I'm thinking, uh, well, we'll definitely want to keep a hold of that flag, if we can. And we'll definitely want to get infantry up into those buildings. And we can put those 40 more guns up and make a firing range. So anything that comes over to lip there get knocked, gets knocked out. That should work fairly well, I think. Uh, I did send a recon bike over, and it looks like it got knocked out. So instead, we are going to send Lovez out to see what exactly is going on. Okay, yep, we've already lost like the long range superiority. They're gonna get in close. We need to get our aircraft ready. We're gonna attack in a large wave to saturate their defenses. That's the heavy bomber. Then we'll send the two lighter type bombers onto the other tank. damage with that. Air raid there, and we also need to start engaging here right away. We need to start engaging post haste, if you will. Oh, that guy's already gotten revealed, so we'll pull him back. I don't know if there's just that max of how many maxims they have. They're not firing at our aircraft. There we go, now they're getting into range there. Okay. That was an unsuccessful attack. Let's launch another one. We've got some actually heavier aircraft now that we can send in. A little bit heavier. Let's try that and see how that goes. Oh my god, quickly. Get into those woods. Come on, guys. say uh, this process is particularly enjoyable. Uh, definitely need to get more planes out as soon as possible. There we go. Knocked out one tank. Knocked out two tanks. Very good. Actually, we killed a recon tank, which is pretty nice. I forgot those things actually have uh, anti-infantry shells. That's kind of funny. Quickly get into those buildings there. Those guys are moving up just the way we like it. Uh, I think feel comfortable moving these up. Move these guys up. Move that guy up. Let's just get a handle on things here. We'll bring our 40 mils up to engage on the side. Uh, they just don't seem to be doing much here. I mean, not that they're capable of a ton. Probably want to bring this gun up somewhere. I don't really know where, though. Hmm. Maybe here? I don't know. I think we'll leave it for now. I'm really worried about getting, make sure we have enough planes to keep hitting those tanks over and over and over and over. Oh 
Oh my gosh, and these guys are actually taking fire, which I did not expect to happen, actually. I just thought they'd have more time. Oh yeah, take off that. Yeah, definitely only fire heat. Oh, here we go. We've got enemy aircraft. Uh, let's go ahead and intercept that with our own assault bombers. And uh, then we'll use those same bombers to strike some ground targets. If we can. Oh, yeah, that's just a biplane, so we can definitely take care of that. Uh, get just get into the woods as deep as you can. Okay. Well, this guy is engaging those enemy vehicles without success. I think I'll actually move our infantry back to the buildings for more cover. This guy is engaging something. Oh, the tank. I see a bounce. Oh no, that's the infantry shells. Okay. So I'm wondering, do I engage the biplane, or do I engage the tanks? And I really do think that I'm going to engage the tanks. So we'll send a plane after each one of them. And hopefully that will stun them up and keep them away from us. That's the plan, anyway. I do Oh my god, come on. You guys had all the time in the world to, to, to aim and fire. Come on, guys. There you go. Good. Miss. Total misses on both sides. On me. I did not check the accuracy. I suppose the accuracy is pretty bad, right? What is it? On the heat. Heat shells accuracy of only 30%. Miserable accuracy. Very reprehensible. Very reprehensible there. These guys died in seconds. I don't know what happened to them. Very reprehensible accuracy. Oh, uh, we lost one of our anti-tank guns, it appears. That one's just pumping shells down there at the enemy. It is difficult to play and keep these tanks off of our backs. Over here, not a... Not successful. Fire one more round at least. All misses. A complete failure there. Huge L. Tremendous L. That was not very good. And these all these guys all got exposed because they ran out into the open, so. Note to self, those shells are actually are not very good. Um, let's go ahead and get uh, let's get some fighter aircraft to take down that guy and then to reserve against enemy aircraft and then we'll get a bomber and then some more infantry for the town here. Okay, so you guys go ahead and engage that enemy recon plane and I have a bomber just for that special T-34 tank that's sitting right there. Good stuff. Got your bomb off, although that was a miss. Hmm. Okay, enemy tanks coming over the top. They're coming over the top, boys. All right, all right. We trained for this. We're still not prepared. Okay. Well, good news is we hold that flag in the corner. I'm glad I went ahead and did the that move. And I'm like, yeah, let's go ahead and seize that. Uh, that thing's pretty annoying. Okay. Yes, use our anti-tank guns, knock out all of those bad guys. That other plane missed, so we're going to try to hit it with these lighter bomb bombs, bombers. And we also need to hit that thing, those guys, when we can. These guys just need to stay back. There we go, knock that out, good stuff. 
Will the double bomb load be enough? It is not, unfortunately. Uh, actually already seeing an enemy fighter coming in. Okay, let's do our best to uh, take out that tank and we'll hit it. We'll send our other plane all the way over to the side and hit that other one. Oh, and actually, let's send, we'll send two over here. One, one for each. Each one gets a, you both get a shell. How are we doing so badly? I thought these guys could do some more damage, honestly. Lost a 75 mil gun. Oh, due to another rocket attack, it seems. Uh, we have two fighters ready to intercept this guy as he follows our fighters back home. These guys just got their bombs off. Not much effect. Oh, no, just kidding. We did knock out one enemy vehicle. Okay. Can these guys engage that while he's kind of surprised? I don't know. Nope, the range is too short, unfortunately. I thought maybe while he was stunned, those guys could do some work, but they can't. They are not sufficient. I'm gonna pause again. I see we're facing a minor defeat. Um, I'm glad, I'm really am glad I sent this infantry into this town. Obviously they were needed, but we need to send in more. This replacement regiment troops, they ain't shit. All right, just butch your set up. Let's just fill things up there with those guys. Pull those planes back. You do not have... Oh, we do. We do have two available aircraft. Try not to hit these, since potentially we could actually engage these guys successfully. Hmm. Okay, so we've got two aircraft with these bombs, and we'll hit that tank. It looks like it's about to die, honestly. And we'll set another one against that tank there. Dude, they can't even stop the Dozor squad. Bruh. They were not sufficient. Okay, good hit. There we go. Between the between the group effort there, they took that one out. They hit that, did not take it out, it seems. Here, enemies are kind of breaching the... Coming over the top here. Okay, enemy scout car there. Oh my gosh, these guys are. Not doing the best. Oh my god, is they gonna. Oh no, it's okay, it's okay. Alright, we'll s we only need one plane for the biplanes. So they're not very dangerous, honestly. Alright, another plane for that vehicle there, and another one for you, my friend. Yes, we will respond. And let's actually get some additional bombers out. And are there any other tanks that need to be boinked? I see one here that could definitely use some attention. There's actually two tanks there. And then I have one more bomber available to use against a target. I'd want to saturate their AA net, you know, so I'm going to try to hit that tank again. stuff knock that guy out how are we doing over here pretty freaking badly because we're pinned down and not having a good time in fact this defense is about to fall so we definitely need some more forces to come up here love that guy evacuate oh good very successful bombing raid there very nice the dozor does not care they are just rushing the enemy their chance of pen is not very high but Keep pumping rounds at him. All right. Well, I guess we'll use the bomber here. I thought that we could stop him through conventional means, but it looks like that's not going to be the case. Now, uh, I'm going to.
want to fill this up with some extra troops. And does anyone else need extra troops? I'll try again with these 40 mils just because they seem almost worthless, so may as well just, like, this is where they're supposed to be deployed, so may as well just use them, you know, may as well just use them up. I don't even know. Send a guy there. Send a guy there. Just trying to get extra troops out. Oh, yes, the other three troops definitely need to go to this sector. We'll try to put some anti-tank rifles up and see if that has any effect on the enemy. You guys are almost dead, so please uh, do us a favor and evac. Okay, stopping those Aptimachiki. Legendary. Alright, things going here. Not the best. That tank is definitely still active. And it got spotted. Those troops got spotted, so they're gonna have to bomb that tank. Surprised again. No, not a lot of pressure on those guys, so they're chilling. Very nice. Deploy Rosk. Doing what they do best and putting down a ridiculous volume of fire. Yeah, no more, no WLA in this town. Okay, now we have a battery of anti tank rifles to use if this sector falls again. Um, let's go ahead and get uh, some extra regular troops in there. Uh, actually, I wanted some Panzerfaust armed troops, so we'll try three of those guys and another commander to get things there back to normal. And actually, I'll send even another anti tank gun there and two more bombers. I don't actually see a lot of tanks right now, which is good. <laughs> All right, let's push back and regain control of this town. What the bad guy's up to, I don't know. We have that flag again, that's nice. We have a nice even uh, control of the fields here, it looks like. Oh my god. Run away from that tank. Okay. Our second option is going to be bombing. Our first option is most definitely... Or, yeah. I'd much rather bomb that thing than try to engage it straight up. But we're going to try both ways. Oh, and I see we have another enemy tank to hit here. This recon vehicle. You're going to hit that with two bombers. Seems like two is just kind of like the amount that you just like need to have like a reasonable degree of success. Okay, we got enemy plane coming in here. Let's hit that ASAP. Okay, now you guys can use HE. I don't want you guys using AP. That's the problem. Oh, well, you guys gotta pull back again, because now the tank's targeting you. Do you, are you almost dead? It looks like you're almost dead, so I'll just try to use one more bomber on you. Oh, and we do have, definitely have some more enemy vehicles pulling up here. So we'll try to double up on those guys and send another plane there. Oh, perfect, we have enough to send two over here as well. Again, quickly move troops into position. Let's get them to cover this whole sector. 
seems like that where I'm putting them right here is where they're really most needed. That's like where the breakthroughs seem to be kind of happening. Mm. Okay, what to do now? Well, definitely good to unload these guys. So they're not vulnerable. We've got these guys all ready to go. Let's get them back up into their positions there. Noticing two more enemy tanks coming in. Uh, I do want to get a recon vehicle out here. Because that uh, uh, bike got knocked out. So we'll send something. We'll send someone. Uh, actually, we won't send someone beef here. We'll send someone still weak over to there. Take things on in that sector. And I think it's time to start getting some artillery in play. Just to start generally uh, bombarding the enemy and causing him problems. Still not a destruction of that tank. We'll hit it again. I mean, you know, I'm down to keep trying. There we go, finally got him down. Okay, now that he's gone, can we push this across properly? We'll see. Phase shift is happening. You know, our lines are holding strong. So... We'll see what comes next. Oh, I see a nice juicy 82 mil target there. Those are all 50 mils, right? Okay, yeah, let's just... Let's buy some more real already. Real man's already. All right, nice. Those guys are almost in place. I see a new target. Uh, hello there. Ooh, yikes, yeah, guess we're going to lose that guy there. Let's uh, vector another fighter in on them. Okay, things look kind of dicey, but I think we're actually going to be okay. Uh, where did I just lose somebody there? I do not know. It's a mystery. Oh, I think it was right here. Okay, we've got new points available. These guys are pretty much all set to go. I'll have them fire at will. Any other already? One more piece to to bring to the table. And that's it. These guys do have lots of bad arty. I could have considered their anti-tank capability, but their accuracy is so bad that the 40 mils are actually significantly better. It's not even close, so I really did want to use these arty guns as, as arty and not as anti-tank. Although, my god, I was tempted. Okay. Let's try that. Grouping out for size. Tanks are coming in, so let's get ready to repel them. With the additional aircraft, they become available. Looks like those guys are also kind of pitching in. Okay. fighter seems to be gone, so I'll send that guy in to, uh, against him. And I'm not seeing, and I'm actually not seeing any other tanks now, uh, for the first time. I'm 
I'm not seeing any other enemy armor on the screen, so we'll just wait for a second and see. Oh, yeah, here we go. I was going to say, let's see who else presents themselves. Okay, head v head, what happens? Oh, no way. Early victory, we're going to pull out though. Chill now. I guess we'll push up our giant force of Lovez through this woods and see what exactly is guarding that flag. Oh, and I see the enemy are right on top of us here. I did not realize that. Should fall back to the rear. These guns are ready to go now. Oh, see, I forgot. I pinned down my own troops by doing that, which is kind of very much not good. Alright, let's push it up even more. No need to be on the outskirts right now, because we're actually chilling. That guy has gotten very lucky to get that far. Those rounds are coming in, but having almost no impact on the targets. Let's try a bombing run instead. actually destroyed one tank. Oh, holy cow, they are all over us here. Is actually out of those kind of shells there. How's our artillery doing? Oh, these guys are all ready to start firing. We are raining shells down on the enemy push in this sector. Start distributing, distributing bombs. Kill it? Who knows? Nope, you can't. You're almost worthless. Alright, yep, you need a bomber. Well, the 40 mil experiment is a conclusive failure. They obviously cannot defend these sectors at all. That's just like science, like it's just not working. We're seeing a push coming up on this side. Okay. Oh, those guys are getting shredded there. Oh my gosh, we're about to lose this flag. I did not even see. We have lots of artillery coming in, but I don't think it's going to be enough. And my goodness, we have so many points. Surely we can buy something else. 50 mils, not interested. Oh, here we go. Some proper mortars. Okay, 50 mils left over there. 50 mils, 50 mils. 
50 mils. Uh, oh, here we go. 81s. 81s. Love to see it. All right. That's. Oh, here we go. 120 mils. Nice. I love 120 mils. Okay, that's about it. Oh, here we go. Two more. Two more guns. Here and here. Awesome. Mm, that giant wave of tanks coming down does not seem like a good situation. Okay. Yes, I thought we could I thought we could spend our points a little bit more effectively. All right, let's get after these tanks here. Double up on the targets. Tank destroyed there. Oh, another recon plane to take out. Looks like this guy is engaging our anti tank gun. defense continues oh here we go a push kind of like what I was anticipating coming right down the middle here these guys are still alive they've expended all of their Panzerfausts at least one enemy tank knocked out yeah just seeing one but maybe more no I think just one They're all around them. Okay, let's hit them again. Hit that tank. I think the already that's landing all around those tanks is probably good just because they're destroying the enemy uh, Maxim guns that are hanging out along with them. Got more targets here coming down the road. There you go, boys. Nice. Come on, stop him from pushing up. Or anything, I don't know. Okay, we pushed him back at least. Let's check on the state of our mortars. They should be pretty much all in place where we needed to be. Alright, I'm just gonna say close enough with those guys. Same with these guys here. Got still plenty of tanks to take out. Looks like an enemy strike aircraft coming in there. Let's intercept that with fighters. Oh, no, nope, just a biplane again. Just a recon biplane. Oh, yeah, see, I moved that up instinctually, but it can't do anything. Oh my god, and they are right on top of us here. Okay, I 
How's that bomber gonna do? I have no idea. Okay, nice. All right, I'm actually happy enough with that. All right, let's hit that building too, because I'm sure there's enemies dug in around there. Wow, their tanks just don't quit, huh? I wish we weren't micring so much and we could just watch the battle, you know, because it's absolutely crazy. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Alright, this ain't looking good here. They are running right up onto the rim. Alright, we'll send that plan against that target and another one against this tank. Oh my gosh, the tanks are breaking through onto the hill here. Which we do not have any defense for at the moment. Alright, you know, I'm not even going to direct you, you just do your thing. Oh look, German fighters here, or, well, at least a German. Nominally a German fighter. Oh nice, okay. We're going to evac those, I think we're a little too far away from support. I'd love to like, not micro and just watch the battle, watch the artillery rain down. Watch the tanks just stumble around getting stun locked constantly, it's very fun. Alright, but we've got a, a tons of micro to do to try to keep these guys away from us. Those three units are already, are all almost dead, so we'll pull them back right now. Light little target like that, I think those four bombs are perfect for it. Oh my gosh, the bombs weren't enough. It's just they're hitting them with anti-tank rifles over and over, but it's not doing anything. And shelling, and the shelling's coming in too. Oh my gosh. They just keep boinking it to no effect. Okay, we have tons of points, so... Let's go ahead and push a force up. I want to get them into these woods here. And I'd also like to get some uh, infantry into... Where are the close range troopers? I'll actually get some of those guys up for their Panzerfausts. Oh, uh, well, I don't see any, so instead... I want to push more infantry up into this sector. Okay, these guys are out of ammo, so we'll have them retreat. That guy's chilling, so we'll send him on a run. This is insane. Don't know how we drove, we just drove that tank away at ridiculous price to ourselves. Oh, these guys better retreat too. Oh, and uh, artillery is running low on ammo here. Let's make sure it keeps firing. Oh, enemy fighters are pouncing on us here. What do we have? We have one F109 F8. Let's try it. Oh, 
Hit those tanks. Alright, got a tank to knock out there. We can just hold on for a little bit longer, we'll be okay. Oh my god, evac. Nice, good hit there. Okay, bombing is effective. Let's keep it up. Actually, you guys only got you only got those four rounds, so hit something else like that thing. Some of the heavier bombers against the tank. All right, we'll send you against that. Uh oh, nope, they are getting ambushed. Big time there by those guys. Go ahead and drop some ordnance there. Stop them from pushing. Kill the superior that are in the woods. That is an oh dear me type situation, my goodness. Alright, push up. Let's get that flag again. We are facing a minor defeat now. Instead of a victory. Let's take on that enemy fighter. Do we have any flak? Maybe it's worth it to drop some flak around. I don't really know. Okay, that. Let's send that to retake that. Let's get that to get whatever's happening there under control. This area is out, honestly totally fine. I do want to send some of those extra troops over there, though. And some extra troops here. Oh, that's the commander there. Oh my gosh, they almost overran our command position. Okay, nice. We're gonna get that flag back, it looks like. Just keep up the firing at any price, guys. Don't stop. Start, I think the enemy uh, infantry attack has kind of petered out, so I'm just going to start, or sorry, tank attack has kind of petered out, so I'm just going to start bombing all the tank units I see, or excuse me, all the infantry units that I see. Push up there, you guys. Push up to the side. Oh, we lost our anti-tank gun. Didn't even realize it. Right there. Okay. Our fighters are circling. Doing a great job of looking menacing. Okay, nice. Let's start pushing them back here. I think. Yeah, we actually seem to be pushing the enemy back now, which is great. Man, I 
gotta say, it would not be fun to play as the Russians right now without any air support. And no way to really repel my aircraft. I'm like constantly hitting them over and over. Okay, let's try pushing here. I don't see anybody, so we'll go ahead and attack. Spilling over onto the side. Put an end to those guys. Okay, we're back in uh, control. A very mild advantage on flags, but it's still something. I think that uh, we've kind of weathered the storm, and the worst of it has passed. Yeah, I want to get that pocket of woods back under our control. Maybe we could do a big infantry push into this town as well. Uh, we certainly should have enough troops to at least try. We'll just dump all those guys right there. Nice. And maybe another mass infantry charge, maybe into the town. We'll just send them right. We'll send. Uh, we'll put up six machine guns to cover them, and then send everyone else right over the top. That sounds good to me. Out you go here. Come on, all the troops, and we'll just dump them and send them right in. And uh, I just want to send out some replacement commanders and whatnot for the casualties suffered already. Okay, let's try that out. Let's see how that works. Alright, let's get these away from the trucks so they don't get destroyed if there's any counter battery. I'm literally seeing no counter battery come in, but it doesn't hurt to be safe. Oh, looks like you better retreat. Counter-offensive is starting. Okay, push those guys back there. Nice. Oh my god, Swirlis is getting knocked out. Stop. front push into their lines. We'll set these guys up so if any more tanks come up they can at least put some fire on it. Unload. Mass push.
Yes, you run. You run away as far as you can. Alright, unload there and push. Who's left over here? I have no idea. There may will still be some tanks lurking about, so a little wary of that. Alright, yeah, we definitely want to kill those 50 cal uh, vehicles there. Oh, I see a tank. Let's take that thing out. Okay. Broad front push. So make sure those little vehicles go down. To just just broad front push. Keep it up. Okay, you guys don't need to be at the forefront of the charge though. You guys will definitely just get killed for no gain. Good kill. We retain that flag there. Okay, back with that mild advantage. Look at this, the area that's been shelled so heavily, you can see how many tanks have been knocked out on the way. And, uh, oh my gosh, so many tanks, so many shell craters. Just wiped out everything here. Okay, let's check the health of our troops. I don't want anybody who's really low health going in. Because then they'll just die for no gain. Okay, and we are up to 15 flags. With that, I'm actually going to launch a new assault here onto this hilltop. Of Sparloza's, why not? Uh, yeah, this will be the Sparloza offensive. <laughs> Alright, let's just stuff it with those guys. Nice. Okay. My goal is to get that flag and to push that sector there. Even with already fire, even with these disabled guys, it's still being it's still effective somehow. I barely even see any enemies that are worth killing. There's just not much left on the map here. Guess we'll send those guys up and across. I'll send those guys into that, send those guys just into this open terrain. That'll definitely attract a lot of fire, but uh, I just want to see what's out there, you know? Got those flags, we're on the verge of getting that one there. Sweet. As we emerge from these positions, I'm trying to see, like, okay, what are we gonna, what kind of enemies are we attracting here? All the Sparloses are pulling up, nice. Fire position on that radio corrected mortar. I wish I knew how to put the planes on auto strike. I don't really know how it works. I gotta do this, right? But I don't see them attack anything. Or self deploy, really, so I don't really know what it does. But if it was a way to make planes kind of get controlled by the AI and just attack whatever they see, that would be great so I don't have to micro so hard, but I'm kind of having this successful state right now. Like, they're just not hitting anything. I don't get it. Let's 
somehow taking all these flags is not a like more major victory. Really want to get those flags there. Come on, let me get them. Oh yeah, actually definitely take that flag there, that's what's important. Okay, major defeat, major defeat. Love to see it. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted to see here. I'll keep this up and they should be finished off very soon. That's like a prime example of weathering the storm. It's like it's darkest just before the dawn, you know? Like, oh, this is like, oh my god, just getting worse and worse and worse. And I thought our lives were gonna break, and then all of a sudden, uh, their offensive had kind of petered out, and it's like, oh, everything is okay. Oh, losing some botons here. that flag. Total defeat. Okay, they're down to three flags. I feel comfortable just speeding it up here because there's just not a lot going on, really. guy. Oh, okay, we're down to a major defeat. We do want to have all the flags, so let's try to... We should be able to do that. Oh, I see, yes. Yeah, so let's make sure that flag, that little flag there is ours. Okay, yes, total defeat. Back to total defeat. Down to two flags. They're not having a good time at all. Perfect. Destroy everything, man. Doesn't matter. Oh, one more gun there. We won't have time to hit it, though. Alrighty. Good game. 408. Heavy losses to 75. 75 is... Decently heavy. Alright, we lost four planes. What did they lose? Oh my gosh, all these losses. So many tanks, too. Well, they should be disorganized, so we can just break them up, right? I mean, we're about to... Oh, and the 12th Recon Group. Did we destroy it? It looks like there's nothing left. And Oh, they're attacking our disorganized group. Can we defend with something? Can we try? Nope. Nope, we just lose. Okay. Oh, and they're attacking what now? That's so annoying, because... I don't know if you guys remember, last round, we were not able to pull this guy out, although he had, like, a visible route. He only was able to move one square, so kind of tragic. What's happening here, though? Oh, is it this unit? This is the tank unit being attacked by the enemy. Looks like by the 20th Training Division. If so, um, brave move, because they are very low on support. Oh, and actually, yeah, it might be this infantry regiment. Although this has also been damaged. Uh, both this artillery unit's in good shape, artillery-wise. This one is in terrible condition. What about this one? This one is half strength on artillery. Hmm. This guy's full strength, so it depends on what they use here. But they might actually get some good damage in on our tank regiment. Uh, facing that, I think we'll use this mountain replenishment brigade. Uh, we can't use aircraft because we tried to intervene in this other battle and like use up its turn, I guess. And uh, yeah, we'll use our AA guns. Uh, they're great anti-tank weapons, and uh, we'll use these guys. So we'll have a full deck here waiting for the enemy to hit us. I can't wait for next turn. Oh, look at this! All three pawns are gone. 
They just destroyed just completely. So, oh yeah, you can see they knocked we knocked out all of these units, and yeah, the twelfth recon group was destroyed too. So that was four battalions we destroyed there in that fighting. Uh, so, yes, that demonstrably added to their losses. That's beautiful. That is nice to see the destruction of whole battalions. And we can take this town here and get this nice and cut off. And most importantly, we can use the road again. Hmm. All right, well, it's been quite a long video already, I think. So I think I'm going to leave it here. When we come back, we will uh, go ahead and carry out this battle uh, just so, just with the forces you see here. So until then, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Please uh, leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to uh, keep on this uh trail of videos and until then this is your host Star Gaming signing off.